Hi, this is Avinash. I'm one of the founders of Market Motive. And in this presentation today, I would like to talk about experimentation and testing. There has been a lot of hype around experimentation and testing recently. And uh, much of that hype actually is well deserved. Um, any website at the moment that is not seriously considering a program of experimentation and testing is probably at a strategic disadvantage when it comes to the ability to improve customer experience uh, of the visitors on the website. There are many benefits to doing testing and experimentation, but in today's presentation, we're going to cover um, all of the reasons why um, it has become almost mandatory that you have some sort of a testing program for your company, whether it's big or small. The most uh, interesting thing I wanted to present uh, up front is the fact that the web has become a lot more complex. In fact, customer experience on the web has become a lot more complex. Um, on this slide, you'll see a five-page website that has only five visitors. And one of the things you'll quickly notice is people entering and exiting the website at different points. They're flowing through the website in many different ways. Now, if this is the report you get from your uh, web analytics tool that tells you here is the path that people follow on your website, what would you be able to do? Well, the reason you would not be able to do a lot is because you don't actually have a lot of understanding of uh, why people are coming to the website and why they're behaving this way. The other factor that's compounding customer experience on our website is um, that we've uh, in some ways lost control of the customer experience on our websites. The search engines now, Yahoo, MSN, Google decide uh, where people enter on your website, where they exit, what they find in return to, for example, keyword queries. So in this environment, it's extremely important to understand why people are coming to your website so you can improve their experience. In my book, I have covered, I have, I had shared a three question golden survey that gives you a peek into the mindset of the customers who are coming to the website, to your website. The very first question you would ask people are, why are you here? And that's essentially a way of measuring what I call primary purpose. When you ask the question to people who are on your website, you're always surprised at the answers that you get. For example, on this hardcore e-commerce website um, that we're illustrating data for, people are coming there to buy and research products and services, which obviously uh, indicates an interest in purchase. But you'll also notice that people are there on the website to get tech support. They're there to check order status. They're there to register the product get up, update the account information, perhaps get the company's founder's bio, look for jobs, and all kinds of many different purposes for which people are coming to this website for. It actually doesn't really matter that the website itself was developed only for e-commerce purposes. Now, at this point, you would ask people the second question in the survey. Were you able to complete your task? And as you'll see in this graph, um, blue is yes, and red, um, that slightly violet color, is actually no. So for example, you notice that 44% of the people who are there to buy products on your website are unable to do so. And that's uh, a very, very surprising finding for a website that exists only for e-commerce purposes. So that immediately asks you the question, would, would beg the question, what can you do on your website to improve the customer experience?